Hey there, car enthusiasts. Welcome back to our channel. Today, we're talking about the P0102 trouble code, mass or volume airflow circuit low. P0102 popping up on OBD2 scanner screen? Don't worry, it's fortunate that you can continue to drive because the issue is not too severe. However, you need to fix it as soon as possible for better performance. Dive in for more details. First, let's see what does the code mean. The PCM uses the reading from MAF sensor along with other sensor parameters to ensure proper fuel delivery for optimum power and fuel efficiency. This P0102 code means that there is a low condition detected in the MAF sensor or circuit. Now, let's dig into the symptoms. How can you tell if you've got a P0102 lurking in your engine? First up, obviously the check engine light. Your engine might start feeling a bit rough. If you notice black smoke belching out of your tailpipe, well, that's a sign that something's not right with the air fuel mixture. Your car might decide to play a cruel trick on you and stall out when you least expect it. And last but not least, you might experience some trouble starting your engine. It might take a few tries or feel like a real struggle. Please note that, in some cases, the code will exhibit no symptom at all. It's time to delve deeper and determine the root cause of the issue. So what possible factors could be contributing to the P0102 code? The MAF sensor might be dirty or contaminated. Intake air leaks can also throw a wrench in things. Wiring issues with the MAF sensor or its electrical harness can be the culprit too. It's like a mix-up in the communication lines between the sensor and the car's brain. There might be some other trouble codes popping up alongside P0102, like misfire codes or O2 sensor codes. Now, let's talk solutions. How can we banish this trouble code from our car's life? Start by visually inspecting all the wiring and connectors related to the MAF sensor. Look out for any signs of damage, corrosion, or loose connections. Take a peek at your air intake system. Look for any sneaky air leaks, like loose hoses or cracked intake pipes. Don't forget about your trusty air filter. If it's dirty or clogged, it's time to give it a well-deserved retirement and replace it with a fresh one. Consider cleaning the MAF sensor using a specialized cleaner designed for this purpose. Lastly, inspect the vacuum system downstream of the MAF sensor for any leaks. If you find any, it might be time to bring in a new sensor to save the day. If you're not comfortable getting your hands dirty or you're unsure about any of these steps, don't hesitate to seek professional help. Now if you're looking to learn more about other trouble codes, visit our website, obdcodex.com, and give our lookup tool a try. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for more OBD code videos and car diagnostics tips. Until next time, keep on trucking.